What's going on, Badger Nation? Welcome to Ad Badger's June 24th, 2022 app update. Uh, in this video, we're going to be sharing some of the improvements and bug fixes that we've made into the app, share what we're working on next. Uh, so let's jump in. As always, you can get all of our updates and what we're working on at adbadger.com slash roadmap, and you can actually switch between launched and roadmap there. The first little improvement that we made was adding sponsored brands to our search term quick attack. Uh, the search term quick attack is a great place for you to go and quickly scan through your uh, search terms and quickly add negatives or positives. Uh, so what we have done, is we've added a little selector, sponsored brands or sponsored products for what kinds of search terms you wanna look into. And again, you could also go into add manager and go to view all view all search terms uh, to also get this data and filter and sift through uh, your search terms there as well. It's a big belief of ours here at AdBadger that the tools to optimize, to scan, to look at different kinds of data should be available uh, in multiple places. Uh, so when you're looking at ad manager and you want to scan through your keywords and your targets and your search terms, you can, and then you can also have a separate place for when you just want to do search term optimization. Again, helping you get out of your spreadsheets, helping you get out of those search term reports in Amazon. We've provided a much faster system here inside ad badger. We've also added a nice new feature to Ad Manager, which allows you to create filters based off when things were added. Uh, so what's neat about this, if you wanted a report, show me all of my new campaigns that I've launched this month, or show me all of my new keywords that I've launched this month, you're now able to do that. This provides a really great summary uh, if you wanted to look back at, hey, what kinds of campaigns did I add over the last month or what kind of keywords or product targets or product ads have I added over the last month? This allows you to do it. Um, and pro tip, if you add two date ranges, you can also see the things that you've added last month. So what you would do is you would say, uh, so let's say we're in June right here and you wanted to view everything for May, you would say uh, before, you know, June 1st and after May 1st. And then you just get that time frame, uh, allowing you to see what things you've added in the previous month. Uh, this is a really great way to get a sense of how your newer campaigns or keywords are performing. Or if you're maybe working with clients and you wanted to send them a quick list of all the things that you've added this month, this is a great place to do it. We've improved the speed of our super search. Uh, it still auto-completes and it auto-completes even faster now. So when you're in Ad Manager and you want to find a particular campaign quickly or a particular ad group quickly, again, the benefit of Super Search is that you can jump directly to an ad group. Uh, you can just simply start typing it and it will populate all the campaigns with those words in it or those letters in it much faster now. I've been playing around with this and it's been a really nice improvement. If you're managing clients and you wanted to give a client view only mode to add Badger, it's now here. Uh, just contact us and we'll set this up for you. We've added support for these countries, Sweden, Poland, and Turkey. We've improved the way uh, that you add new Amazon accounts and new Amazon marketplaces to the app. And we've added uh, a refined, refreshed interface for all things billing. Uh, again, to find both of th both this setting for billing and the previous setting for adding a new store, just click that little badger icon in the top right and then go to settings and that's how you find this screen. We fixed some bugs over the last few weeks. Uh, I'll just run through them quickly here. Uh, product ad links, um, potentially going to the wrong country, depending on what marketplace you're in, that's fixed. Uh, fixed incorrect currency display uh, for the product performance dashboard. Uh, a lot of times this will default to dollars. Um, so for all these different currencies that we support, and that's really important to us for our international audience, uh, we take care of that. Uh, keywords and targets in the ad manager, the graphs now appear. Uh, and that's sort of related to the last one on here. Uh, we fixed the date picker in ad manager uh, to show the correct graph and the inability to edit ad groups within a sponsored display campaign has also been fixed. Uh, the very next updates, uh, so sort of looking at the next three weeks or so, 
tagging, very excited about that. So basically you, you'll be able to tag anything you want, any which way. So if you want to tag things branded or non-branded, and then you'll be able to say view all campaigns with the tag branded. What this is going to allow you to do is basically search through your campaigns without having to change the campaign name. So let's say you uh, want to get more organized and you don't want to go through every single campaign, uh, but you just want to tag things. So you can start tagging them and begin to view certain keywords with a tag. So you can get the performance of those keywords that have a certain tag that you gave it, like ranking keywords or performance keywords or you know, reach keywords, competitor keywords, branded keywords, branded campaigns, really going to open the doors to a lot better viewability and analysis. Uh, data improvements. Uh, we're very close to adding organic sales data, product titles, product images, all of that good stuff, stock levels into the app, which we're very excited about. It's going to open up the doors to uh, business level reporting data to help you get more than just advertising data, uh, which I'm really excited about all rows export. This is a long time coming. Uh, so currently when you go into the app and you click download uh, a spreadsheet, you only get the visible rows. So if you're looking at 25 rows, it'll export 25. If you're looking at 100, it'll export 100. Even if there's 101 rows, it won't export that last row. Uh, this will now be updated and you'll be able to export every single row, uh, even if you cannot visibly see it in your pagination settings. Uh, that's gonna be really helpful. Again, it's gonna make it really easy to maybe combine these features. Let's say I wanted to view all the campaigns created in the last month. I would use that filter on Ad Manager. I would click Export, and then boom, I had every keyword, every campaign created in the last month. Or export everything with a particular tag. Even if it's 5,000 keywords, you'll have that list. Or 5,000 search terms, you'll have that list. So really uh, building on you know the functionality that you could do in bulk sheets, but it's very technical, very complicated, baking it right inside Ad Badger. New and improved dashboards. Uh, we've made a lot of dashboard improvements, giving you a lot more insight. Things like uh, view how much spend did you spend on things with zero orders or one order or two orders. So there's so many new updates coming in the next three weeks, uh, approximately, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, as always, you can get all of this information and more at adbadger.com slash roadmap. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, context, uh, context for additional things you'd love to get built. Uh, we really love customer feedback and welcome it, definitely. So. Have a good one. This is Mike, and I'll see you next time here on AdBadger's app updates. Have a good one.